Hello folks, in this video I'm going to talk about how to use multiple columns inside of an R Markdown document generated uh, using HTML document. And there are two solutions available to us. There are two different web frameworks we can use, either Flexbox or Bootstrap. Flexbox is a very flexible solution for where we have multiple columns and we want them to appear in one row all of the time. Bootstrap is very different. Bootstrap is aware of how wide the browser window is and it reflows content based on the browser. So if you view the same website on a laptop where the browser is quite wide, you might see two columns. Whereas if you view the website on a mobile device, which is effectively a web browser just made smaller, then you will see one column. The, first, the content from the first column will be above the content of the second column. So that's the difference between Flexbox and Bootstrap. That will make sense when I show them in a, in a minute. But before I can show them, we need to know a little bit about HTML. Web pages are written in HTML, and HTML is comprised of open and closed tags. So if we wanted to create a heading in HTML, we would use the H1 tag. So H1 is the name of the tag, and that's the open version of the tag. We then close the tag with a with a forward button, with a forward slash. So this is an H1 tag open and close. This is an H2 tag open and close. That's kind of all you need to know about HTML in order for this to work. But we don't use H1 uh, or any of the H tags uh, for this. We use div tags. Div tags are how we split up a website into different components. So if we want to have multiple columns, then we use a div to define a row, and then we use divs within that to define the columns inside of our row. When we're writing div statements in our markdown, we have two choices. We can either use the explicit tag, so we can use the angle brackets, or we can use pairs of three colons, and more than three colons. I find this a little bit confusing. However, it's very important that you understand how it works because it is mentioned in the documentation. So if you read the documentation for multiple columns, then it will more than likely refer to three colons, groups of three colons, instead of a div tag. So now I've gone through these slides. Let's actually see that in practice. So those are my slides. Now I'm gonna go over to this markdown document here and you can see it's got the output HTML document, which, we, which we've been using in R in three months. So let me knit that together. And it's got the exact same information uh, at the top about Flexbox and Bootstrap as my slides. Uh, and then it splits the examples into Flexbox. So this is uh, a Flexbox two columns. So you can see this is two columns, and this is two columns. And so you can see here it says using three, three colons and using uh, div. So I want to go in the R Markdown document itself to look at this. So if we go down to line 53 where we can see our heading using three colons, then we open up our row with four colons. So this opens our row to four colons, and then these corresponding four colons closes that row. So we can read that as open div and that as a closed div. If we went and compared that to using explicit divs, then here we have our open div, which previously was four colons. And here's our closing div. If we go back up to where we're using colons, we open up our column by using three colons. And we use corresponding three colons here to close that tag we open another div tag and we close that tag. So you can see you can see that mirrored in both syntaxes. So if I go back to the actual document itself, we can see no matter how wide the browser window is, these two columns built with uh, Flexbox are always two columns. This row always contains two columns. Now, if I scroll down to Bootstrap, then it looks a little bit different. Uh, so uh, the, the breakpoint is different for Bootstrap. We could make um, a flex um, Flexbox uh, uh, row uh, have more space in between columns if we wanted to. We could go and customize that. This is how Bootstrap looks by default. 
But a big and important thing about Bootstrap is you'll notice that when the browser becomes narrow enough, it suddenly switches from being two columns. So you can say first column when the browser is wide, second column when the browser is wide. It switches over to being in one column. This is really awesome for designing mobile uh, web pages because uh, you design one page and it's going to look good on both desktop and mobile devices. Okay, so that is everything that you need to know about using Flexbox and Bootstrap. There's a little bit more detail about that. Uh, so here you can see col MD6 and col MD6. And so MD, that is uh, a code for how wide the browser needs to be for it to switch. So if it's a medium uh, web browser or, or larger, then it's six. Um, and these numbers here, these numbers can sum up to 12. So you can divide a, a column, a row, into up to 12 columns uh, if you wanted to. Uh, and if you go and read the documentation to Bootstrap, which I've linked you to um, in the R Markdown document, then you can learn more about that. But probably when you're designing reports, what you want is two columns and you want them to be 50% of the width. So this is probably all that you need. If you have any questions about this, please do come back. Uh, remember that I'm gonna to link to this R Markdown document so you can download it and you can make it run on your machine.